Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name's Amanda and in today's video I'm going to be doing a set of tortoise shell inspired nails. This was my first time attempting these but they were really fun to do so I hope you all enjoy it watching. I'm working on a practice hand so I have skipped all of the prep work but if you are working on yourself or a client you would do all of your prep first of all. I do have a dedicated prep video on the channel so I will leave that linked in the description box below. Coming in with my base colours to begin with I've got the gorgeous Mocha. Both of these colours by the way are from the new fall 2021 collection so I will also leave the swatch video for that collection linked below because it's only very recently released and the eight colours that are in it are absolutely beautiful. So definitely check out the swatch video and I will also leave a link in the description box below to the Kiki London website where you can purchase all of the products that I'm going to use in today's video. As you can see, the first coat of mocha is a very highly pigmented and mocha is such a beautiful brown. It has a little tiny bit of a red chestnutty brown undertone to it. It's absolutely beautiful and it's obviously perfect for the full season. Now I'm gonna be doing the tortoiseshell design on the middle and ring finger. So I'm gonna do my bases with a toffee break. I went for toffee break, I was kind of leaning towards using a pumpkin spice but I decided to go for a toffee break. Now one of the things I'm going to say is whenever you are creating nail designs or you're trying out techniques you haven't tried before you're going to have so many different ways that you can do it so it's always good to play around and find a way or a technique that works for you. I'm definitely going to give this style of nails a go with using pumpkin spice as the base rather than toffee break and seeing which one I prefer. A lot of the tortoiseshell nails I've seen on Instagram and Pinterest and places like that, the bases were slightly darker than toffee break, but I still wanted to give it a go because I did feel as though these colors would work really well for that style design. So that's all of our first coat of colors done. I'm now gonna pop these in for 30 seconds to cure in my Kiki London LED lamp. We're then gonna come in and apply the second coat of color. So I'm applying that just ever so slightly thicker than the first coat. You really don't need to be applying thick coats with your Kiki London gel polishes because they are all highly pigmented and a little bit of gel polish actually goes a long way. So it's better to apply thin than apply thick because sometimes when you apply thick, you can have problems with the curing or the gel polish can wrinkle so I always like to keep my coats of gel polish as thin and as even as possible so you will see like when I place my brush down I'm allowing it to fan out I'm applying a little bit of pressure so I can really evenly spread out that color and just how gorgeous does toffee break and mocha look together these are definitely a full combination I think these two colors would look really lovely matte as well. I'm obsessed with matte nails at the moment, but I did decide to do these glossy because of the design. Always being careful when you're applying your gel polish around the cuticle area. You do only need a little bit on your brush. I have way too much on my brush here. Usually I would wipe more off because you have a lot more control over the product if you've only got a small amount on your brush. And if you are struggling to get a neat cuticle line with your Kiki London bottle brush, then you can come in with the detail brush and use that to neaten up the cuticles. Now that our bases are cured, we're going to come in and do the tortoiseshell design. So what I'm doing is I'm popping down a small amount of mocha on my palette and I'm going to actually add a tiny bit of Kiki London's black heart to this just because I wanted it to be ever so slightly darker than the mocha on its own because we are going to come over it with a layer of toffee break and clear mixed together to soften the blends and things like that so i wanted the mocha to just be ever so slightly darker so i've popped just a tiny bit of black down and i'm going to mix that together using my detail brush i have only popped a small amount down on my palette because you're really not going to need a lot for the design and making sure to give that a thorough mix so that the color has blended all together nicely. I then decided to add just a teeny tiny bit more black just because it, I wanted it just that little bit darker. If you do have a darker color in your collection, you obviously can use that and save the hassle of mixing the colors together. But for some reason, I just wanted to stick with using the mocha. Now this is what the color looks like once it has all been mixed together. So it's only ever so slightly darker, but I liked the fact that it kept that bit of a ready chestnut brown undertone to it. 
Now before I apply that, I'm gonna come in with the Kiki London Base Coat, and I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of this to the nail to work like a blooming gel to help the tortoiseshell pattern just blend out a little bit more because that's how a lot of the pictures I've seen looked. So I'm gonna leave my base coat wet so I've not popped it in to cure and I'm gonna start applying the brown down into that uncured base coat. So as you can see, I'm just applying a small amount on my brush and I'm just creating some rough circular shapes and it's gonna start bleeding out and blending into the base coat. Then I'm just topping up with a little bit more color in the center, just so that the center part of the shape look more vibrant than the blended edges. And then I'm just wriggling that around just to help it blend out into the base coat. Now, one thing I would say is I do think this design would work a little bit better with an actual blooming gel rather than a base coat because with a blooming gel, the color blooms a little bit more. So I really do hope that Kiki London have a blooming gel coming out soon because that would be a great addition to the range. But I do find the base coat works okay. I just would say leave it a little bit longer to bloom. I popped mine in pretty much to cure straight away once I'd finished the design. And because it didn't bloom as much as I wanted it to, I waited a little bit longer on this nail and I felt as though the effect looked a lot softer. So I'm coming in and I'm gonna do exactly the same again. But like I said, the only difference is, is I just give it a little bit of more time to blend and the edges of the design to soften before popping it into cure because obviously the soon as you pop the design into cure it freezes in place and then it's going to fully cure that design where if you just give it a little bit longer before popping it into cure those colors can melt into the wet base coat and just the edges looked a little softer on this one if that makes sense you'll probably see it when i show you a close-up towards the end of the video it was a fairly simple design to do. I think I probably would just like to play around with it to get a bit more practice and perfect it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to take Toffee Break and I'm gonna mix it with some of the Kiki London base coat. So I'm gonna pop the base coat down on the palette and I'm popping down a lot more base coat than I am a Toffee Break because I want this to look like a transparent yellow. So as you can see, I'm just popping a little bit of toffee break down there and then I'm gonna pop a little bit more on my palette so that if I need to add more, I can. And then I'm gonna mix this color together using the round brush because that's the brush that I'm gonna be using to apply it with. And basically I'm gonna apply this over the top of the tortoise, tortoiseshell design that we've just painted on so that it gives the whole look a little bit more dimension. It's also gonna soften some of the details that we've drawn on with the mocha and just give off more of that tortoiseshell effect. So you can see here close up what I meant by the colors blooming out. So to begin with, I'm using that round brush and I'm just painting on a really thin layer of that toffee break and base coat mix. Now, when I was painting this on, I felt as though it was a little bit too transparent, but I rather had applied it first of all too transparent than too opaque because then you can kind of play around and create the effect that you want to create. So I'm gonna pop this in to cure for 30 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same mix, but add a little bit more of the toffee break. So it's ever so slight darker just mixing that in making sure it's thoroughly mixed into the base coat and then I'm just going to apply another layer of that over the top do not worry at this point if the nails are feeling a little bit uneven because you will rectify all of that once you come in and apply your top coat anyway so I'm just painting that on quite thin and it is a little bit hard to see but in real life you could really see the difference that this layer made and I love the Kiki London round nail art brush for this because you can work over a larger area, but it's also got a really nice round tip for when you are getting close to the cuticle area. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna pop this in to cure for 30 seconds. And then that is the finished tortoiseshell look. Obviously I've just got to come in and top coat further along in the video. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now on the other two nails, I wanted to keep these quite simple, but I wanted to add in some foils. So I'm gonna take the Kiki London foil gel and instead of applying this to the entire nail, I'm just applying it to the tips of the nail because I just want to do a bit of a like foil ombre. I didn't want to draw too much attention to these two nails because I wanted to keep the middle nails at the focal point of the set. 
So I'm just gonna blend that foil gel back a little bit just so that it's not a harsh line for the foils to stick to. And then I'm gonna pop these in to cure for 30 seconds. Now for foils, I went for box number four, which is the metallic colors. And I reached for this gorgeous chestnutty brown one because I felt as though it complemented mocha beautifully. It was like the mocha was made for this foil. As you can see, it's such a beautiful foil and it's perfect for those fall or autumn colors. Now what I'm doing is I'm very, very gently pressing this on to the foil gel and I'm pulling off really quickly to create that shattered effect. Now, if you apply this straight down, it's gonna transfer the whole foil. So if you want that look, it's great, but I wanted that broken, abstract, shattered effect. So that's why I'm applying it really, really lightly, barely touching the nail and pulling off really quickly because the Kiki London foil gel has such a high tack to it foils stick so easily. So if you're wanting this kind of effect, you need to apply them really nice and really lightly. And it gives off such a beautiful effect because you're still able to see that mocha color underneath. I decided to give you guys a bit of a close up. I really, really liked this combination. So we're now gonna come in and top coat all of the nails. And again, today I'm using the no wipe rubber top coat. Whenever I do any kind of nail art, I find myself reaching for this top coat the most because I personally find a lot of the time when I'm doing hand painted nail art, especially like the tortoise shell or marble designs, they can be a little bit uneven and the rubber top coat just fixes that all up where it is that little bit thicker, it just smooths everything out. If you however wanted, if you already had quite a even nail and you just wanted a high shine top coat, I would recommend using the Kiki London no wipe top coat, but the rubber top coat does have so many beneficial properties. Not only is it amazing for sealing in nail art, hand painted nail art, foils, water decals, things like that, it adds an extra layer of strength and durability to the natural nails, especially when you're working it in combination with the rubber base coat. So it's great for any clients who may suffer with chipping or lifting, or if they're a bit more heavy handed than some other clients. I find it one of my personal favorite top coats from the Kiki London range. So because it is a little bit thicker and when I am working over an uneven surface like the tortoise shell nails, I do really like to work it around, help create that smooth layer, but it does also self level itself beautifully. It does require a 60 second cure. And then this is what the nails look like once they had fully cured. It does still have such a beautiful high shine to it as well, which I absolutely love. So if you enjoyed today's video, then thank you so much for watching. If you could give the video a thumbs up, that would be great. And pop us a comment below as it really helps boost the channel. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do so that you never miss a video. Thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Bye-bye.